drink. Get over here. <laughs> Not here. <coughs> oh, he's pushing. Come on. Come on, boy. My name is Jimmy Gardner. I run the Country Wheels program as part of the Meals on Wheels. And what I do is I deliver frozen meals once a week. I give them seven frozen meals. They get seven milks, seven juices, seven servings of bread. I drive um, up to over 900 miles a week, over seven counties, over a five-day period. And I really get to know the clients because I see the same ones every week. He brings me my little goodie bags and he's kind enough some days to put them up when I'm not here. He can feel right at home here. He can sit in my recliner and watch TV if he wants. Yeah, well, don't get me comfortable. <laughs> That's why I don't do it. You don't have time. I don't know why, but I fell and fractured my pelvis in two places. And after that, my hip never seemed the same. Um, how do I like it here? I like my house. I like... I like it when Jimmy comes. <laughs> and it was a little easier before my neighbor down here passed away. So now I really, really am alone. I've lived here in Bastrop for 10 years in this house. Uh, I'm very comfortable here, but I do have trouble moving around anymore. I had bad knees and they got replaced. And now I'm beginning to learn to walk again. But their main issue usually is mobility. People who rarely drive or, you know, even if they do drive, it's difficult for them to go to the store and pick up milk, pick up groceries. You know, if they don't have someone with them to help them, you know, basically, you know, they're homebound because of that. And so with this program, we are able to, you know, take care of that segment of the population. I've been out here for 24 years, I think. I just love the country. I want nothing else but the country. I've been in the country all my life. Well, I can't stand it long. I have to do my cooking sitting down, you know, getting up sitting down. I don't, I don't have no family at all. I have one or two neighbors. No, I don't, I don't have no family. Like I said, I get to know them, and so if something's bothering them, I tend to pick that up pretty quickly. I'm someone that's there frequently. A lot of times they'll tell me their issues and their problems, and so, you know, I'm a good sounding board for them a lot of times. And I consider that part of my job is that, you know, I, I do a little bit of interaction with them beyond the meal delivery, and I think that uh, they really appreciate that because they tell me that. He's a beautiful rooster, though. He is. Big fat one. Yeah. Too. 